Hi, Cancer. This is your mid-month November 2021 reading. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for mid-month November 2021 in love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for mid month November 2021 in love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for mid month November 2021. In love, show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Cancer. Cancer. This is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Cancer. This is you. This is your partner. So, Cancer. <laughs> I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For mid-month, November 2021, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Cancer, is the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development, and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but listen, you guys may be happy over the moon here, ecstatic here, okay? Or you're telling me that something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Cancer and their partner. Clarify the sun for Cancer and their partner. Clarify the sun for Cancer and their partner. It is clear. What? With the four of wands? Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Cancer, listen, you know, we very well could be happy leveling up here, maybe having some type of celebration, maybe going into some type of commitment. Or it was illuminated, okay? Something came to light concerning some type of celebration or someone leveling up with someone else, I guess. Or some type of commitment. Cancer, you have strength. It's Leo. You have the Page of Swords. You have the Seven of Cups. Your partner has the Six of Swords. Your partner has the Nine of Cups. And your partner has the Magician. Hmm. Yeah, so... Let's just try this, okay? Let's just, just get it straight because it started off kind of messy. Cancer, the mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is listen. Like I said, we could be happy over the moon here about some type of celebration, going into a commitment, leveling up, or this is what is being illuminated here maybe about one of you guys or someone, okay? So Cancer, you have strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. So listen, Cancer could be dealing with a Leo. 
but you can tell me that hey you're feeling extremely weak here that you're trying to restrain yourself restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something clarify strength for cancer clarify strength for cancer clarify strength for cancer it is clarified with the two of wands Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? I don't know. So, Cancer, listen, you can tell me that, you know, you may require strength for you to do something here, and you may need to pick a path or decide where to go from here, okay? We'll see, Cancer. You have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication, but this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Cancer, very well could have been some type of immature, premature communication had here. Yes. However, you could have went looking and spying and saw something. Clarify the page of swords for Cancer. Clarify the page of swords for Cancer. Clarify the page of swords for Cancer. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So, Cancer, listen, you know... <clears throat> Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. But also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. So it could be some immature, premature communication about legal documentation or paperwork. Or you went looking and spying and you decided to cut someone off here, okay? Ay, 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 ay. Could be researching. Some type of legal documentation or paperwork here. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Queen of, King of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Cancer. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So, Cancer, like I said, it very well could be some immature, premature communication had here concerning legal documentation or paperwork, concerning some type of commitment or stability, okay, or property here, okay? However, you can tell me you went looking and spying here on this and finding out about this legal documentation or paperwork with some type of commitment. It's being illuminated about some type of commitment. Is this it? You could also tell me that you guys already had this commitment, marriage, living together situation, family dynamics going on. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to this based on something that you saw or some immature, premature communication that was said. Cancer, you have the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Cancer, listen, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing. You can tell me there's some type of confusion or illusions. Could be lies here. You could also tell me that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Cancer. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. 
could be dealing with a Aries, but listen, you can tell me that, hey, you know, I want to take this leap of faith. I just want to up and do something here, okay? I just want to just set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for cancer. Clarify the fool for cancer. Clarify the fool for cancer. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So, Cancer, it could be dealing with an Aquarius. You can tell me that you're getting your wish here, following your destiny. However, you can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own. Or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile here. But clarify the star for cancer. Clarify the star for cancer. Clarify the star for cancer. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now here's where truth comes out. It's swift. It's bitter. It's harsh. It's direct. It's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise. But it's true. So Cancer... Some type of confrontation taking place here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Cancer. It is clarified with the Three of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intention towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Cancer, you know, this almost makes me feel like <laughs> you're in your head fantasizing here about taking this leap of faith, right? And maybe you're made to wait. I don't know why, but maybe this is causing you to confront. And you guys may be having this immature, premature communication about this commitment here. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. So, Cancer. However, I feel, yeah, I feel like it's about You wanting to go into some type of commitment, but you're made to wait. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you could also tell me that you're waiting to confront. Because maybe there's some type of confusion or lies or illusions about someone taking a leap of faith here. And this is something that you're seeing here or witnessing here. So Cancer, listen, I feel like something is being illuminated about leveling up or going into some type of commitment, okay? I'm just not sure. Right now, whether or not it's you confronting them about you guys going into a commitment, or is this something that you're witnessing with them with someone else, okay? So, Cancer, you have the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, where well, your partner has the Six of Swords. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So, either mentally or physically, your partner is wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Cancer, listen, your partner could tell me that, hey, you know, whatever went on between us, I want us to put it behind us and just move away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or your partner saying that they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. They could also be making some type of physical move here. Clarify the Six of Swords for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Cancer's partner. Queen, I don't know 
why I can't get this right. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family. Someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. Could be dealing with this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone more earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Cancer's partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Cancer's partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Swords doubling up. Like, it's doubling up, okay? Six of Swords again. So listen, <clears throat> your partner is either telling me that when it comes to this stability here, okay, whether someone has commitment on the brain, that they're just moving out, moving on, and moving away from it, putting it behind them, or they want you guys to like go ahead and, you know, deal with this and move away to a place of peace and harmony together concerning it, okay? Still again, I have questions on whether or not you're witnessing this, okay? Are you witnessing this and this is them moving away with someone else towards some type of stability or commitment here? So... Cancer. Your partner has the Nine of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to your partner feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So, Cancer, listen, your partner could be getting their wish, yeah? Could be feeling smug about a situation or maybe trying to uh, numb out. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Nine of Cups. For Cancer's partner. Clarify the Nine of Cups. For Cancer's partner. Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory, but this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Cancer, listen, your partner could tell me that they've come into some type of truth and clarity, okay? And maybe they're happy about it. Your partner could tell me that, you know, they're making a decision here, okay? Maybe they're happy about a decision that they're making. They could be feeling smug about a decision that they're making. Or they're using this sword to sever. Like, I don't know which direction your partner is going into. I feel like you guys are having this communication, though. Your partner has the magician, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner is trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And they have all the tools and resources available to them to manifest whatsoever they will. They have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, they can manifest. So Cancer could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner is trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician. For Cancer's partner. Clarify the magician for Cancer's partner. Clarify the magician for Cancer's partner. It is it's like doubling up here. <laughs> okay. Double or nothing. Clarify the magician for Cancer's partner. Clarify the magician for Cancer's partner. Clarify the magician for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with you, Cancer, the chariot. Your partner is determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But your partner is determined to move forward confidently. So, Cancer, this is a you. Clarify the chariot for Cancer's partner. Clarify the chariot for Cancer's partner. What does Cancer's partner think of Cancer? 
What does Cancer's partner think of Cancer? Clarify the chariot for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious. What? Worry, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind. Lose sleep at night. Worried about something. Uh-uh. So, Cancer. Your partner could be being very manipulative right now. And it's causing you a great deal of anxiety, anxiousness, or stress. Because I asked, what does your partner think of you? Your partner thinks that you're stressed. So are you confronting about this weight, about going into some type of commitment here? Cancer. Your partner could tell me that them themselves are all up in their head worried because they're trying to manifest making some type of move, 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 move here. Okay? And I don't know, maybe they're happy about their decision, you know, maybe they're stressing and trying to numb out about this decision here. There's a confrontation happening. Is it a physical move like into a new house that is the issue here? Or is it about we're, we're shining a spotlight on leveling up or going into a commitment here, okay? Cancer, this is your mid-month November 2021 reading. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.